What up guys, it's your boy Mark from Mark. I'm here for Pinoy Bounce Ball Culture. Over here my boy, friends. How you doing? Good man, appreciate Good. it. Good. And we had in a couple episodes already, but this is something we're doing completely different in a sense of we're bringing the collection that he had. You guys know he's a big fan of basketball and, and, and just basketball in general and the NBA. So we're here to kind of take a little bit of looks about his collection that he had, hats, shoes, and jerseys. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit, how did it start for you? Uh, for me, it really started like um, I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan. So um, seeing his uh, shoes that he wore, you know, from you know the, the Adidas and um, all the Nikes, you know, um, I wanted to you know imitate Kobe. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Like, knows I, that, right? yeah, That's, I mean, obviously, uh, Kobe, I'm not gonna be as good as Kobe. Yeah. But um, you know, in a way, I look up to to his game. So when you wear his shoe, you feel like you know, feel like a Kobe. You know, uh, but um, I want to talk about this shoe, actually. Um, this meant a lot to me because this was my first signature shoe Okay. when I was yeah. a kid. So when I was a kid, um, I got here in Canada. I was 12 years old, and um, I got into a um, free throw competition. Okay. And I ended up winning it. So my, my parents' uh, gift to me was um, the first um, VC shocks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not this colorway, but it was the, the yeah. So yeah. this shoe meant a lot to me. Yeah. So. But this one, tell me a little bit, like why the VC shoes back then? If you were a Kobe fan, like what it what VC meant to you? Oh, VC yeah. meant a lot because yeah. he, he he was the first one I idolized before Kobe Bryant actually. Yeah. So coming to Toronto, I was you know I was like real happy. I'm like, hey, I get to go to to Canada. Um, he's the player I idolize. So I I, I usually um play play like you know kind of like vc jumps a lot yeah. you know grabs rebounds things like that yeah and then eventually as, as i got older uh yeah. Your game kinda to, changed, right? i try to emulate <laughs> to to kobe you know yeah. shoot more and stuff yeah i feel but, like um, talk to me about besides the shoes is there yeah. a hat that specifically in general that meant has a personal story within you is there one of the hats here that you can kind of talk about maybe one of them first thing was this one first all-star game in in toronto Okay. So oh, um, yeah, I, I got this. Uh, me and my dad watched the game. It was the uh, rookie sophomore game, yeah. and uh, he got this hat for me. So this meant a lot. Second one is uh, this one. Uh, I went to to LA. Yeah. Um, I met my cousin there and things like that. Uh, I had a great experience, and um, also this one. This was signed by Carl uh, Anthony Towns. Oh wow! And yeah. the All Star game as well. Yeah, this was this was the same uh, All Star weekend. Yeah. And finally. Um, just recently, you know, NBA champions, right? Toronto yeah. Raptors. Yeah. So this meant a lot because I know I had to grind and, you know, line up for hours just to get this. This <laughs> is kind of what I want to get to. Yeah. So as someone who, who are a big fan of Raptor, uh, Raptors, NBA and, and merchandises, t talk to me a little bit about the, the work, the grind that has to be on when you have to kind of get the shoes mm -hmm. or get the latest hats on their opening day. Tell, t talk to me about that grind. Okay, so I mean, for the shoes, um, collectors usually they, they get it from eBay or they get it from um, uh, other places like let's say uh, Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji if they're really hard to attain. Mm -hmm. um, me, uh, I remember wanting like a shoe that I didn't have as a kid. Mm -hmm. So when I got older and I was able to you know you know work and you know have more money, I was like, hey man, this is like nostalgia to me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm able to buy what I wanted back then. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's how it is, and also uh, the the grind with the getting like the hats and things like that, especially this um, you know championship yeah. hat, that was really how tough. How long did you have to line up for? Well, you know, I was there from like twelve in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I remember that, and then uh, there was the lineup was organized, and next thing you know, uh, someone kind of opened the gate, yeah. and everybody just rammed the the front of the uh, the entrance. Yeah. So whoever was even in uh, the back. They were able to go in and kind of butt in um, in front of uh, the guys that lined up from probably like from 5 p.m. Yeah. So wow. so so imagine for for us that they lined up early, yeah. it, like it was tough. We had to wait like six seven hours. Yeah. And a lot of times, are you mostly doing it like when you're going for shoes or going for openings of stores for hats? Are you going to by yourself? Do you have a certain like kind of routine? What's your routine like? Um, okay. So one thing I've never lined up for a shoe, yeah. right? I usually just get it online because. Um, yeah, sometimes you have friends that may have connections, so mm -hmm. and they, they work at Champs or Foot Locker, mm -hmm. so it's easier. It's easier to to attain the shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, the only time I really lined up for for gear was 
the the OVO wow. the OVO hat. We, That's the only time. I That's thought you were a Laker fan until we won the championship, and then bam, you're at Raptors because it's it's something that you know. Yeah, well, let me doing let me city. clarify that. So, yeah. I am I am a, a Lakers fan. Yeah, because um, you know the history, the players, things like that. But since I, I live in Toronto, mm. and I was originally a VC fan. Yeah. So. I'm low key a Raptors fan too at heart. The fans out there, okay. Know, France is not just about the Lakers; he's also about the Raptors yeah. too, right? So, um, I, I yeah. So I know I talk a lot of you know smack about Raptors, yeah. you know, throughout the years. Yeah. That's because I want them to be better. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, they yeah. you know, they passed the hurdle, and yeah. I'm more than happy to you know, to represent Raptors, right? But uh, now that uh, you know Lakers is back in business, well. As he's back. <laughs> he's excited. Yeah. You're excited for yeah. LeBron and Anthony Davis kind of putting it um, together, right? Yeah. To be honest, too, I am excited for the Lakers, but I really like the the squad in, in, in Clippers, Clippers right now. Yeah, yeah. I, like it's I'm not a Clippers LA. fan. It's, it's yeah, LA I'm not LA. a Clippers fan. I'm more of like a you know a, a Kawhi fan. I became yeah. a Kawhi fan uh, throughout the you know the Raptors, Raptors run. Season. Yeah, right. I almost missed it actually. Do you have any jersey that you also want to talk about? Maybe that yes, you have? the jerseys. Yes, I, I, you have so much. I'm wearing one of his jerseys, by the way, VC out there. So maybe talk to me one of the yeah. jerseys that you kind so, of have a history with or a story yeah. about. Like I mentioned, um, the, the, the shoes, these things, these are just things that meant to me a lot when I was a kid. Like I want to to get them. So mm -hmm. uh, this this one meant a lot because. Um, this one was signed you know, by uh, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, yeah. guys, insane. So. Yeah. I'm going to treasure this one. Mm. Um, when he gets old or, you know, when you never know, well, not go away when he yeah. passes away, this is going to mean a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So he's a legend forever. Yeah. And um, How did you get this jersey? Evolving. Is there a story behind how you got the jersey? Oh, from this, yeah. So I have a cousin in uh, L.A. Mm -hmm. He actually lined up and um, he was able to get this uh, Magic Johnson um, jersey. jersey signed for me. Wow. So I, I was just lucky, but I didn't. I didn't get to meet Magic Johnson in person. Yeah. I hope I do one day. Yeah. Uh, I, I, That's the only, a dream, right? <laughs> yeah. The only real legend I actually, you know, met is um, uh, Mag, uh, Dr. J. Yeah. Yeah. So any so, have a Dr. J thing? Um, you know, I somewhere. do. It's not here. We'll show it somewhere. Else. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing it. But you have um, a lot of hopefully yeah. one day, yeah. it, I want to move to California if I can, you know, meet Magic. That would be goal. amazing. Yeah. Awesome. No, this is but, uh, awesome. Obviously, the ultimate goal is uh, for everybody to meet Michael Jordan or, yeah. <laughs> or Kobe Bryant. So. I mean, this is a crazy collection. And, and you know, thank you for having us yeah. and showing us this collection and memorabilia that you have and the story that you shared. Maybe a couple of advice out there for fans or for people that are passionate about the NBA and basketball as much as you. What are some of the advice out there in terms of people that want to get into collecting or want to get into merchandise? Um, my only advice is just just purchase the ones that you really like. Um, you don't have to like just you see something you you buy it uh, just like I did. Yeah. It's just not a good idea. Yeah. So um, if it, if something really means a lot to you, then that's the only time you know you, you look to purchase. But other than that, you know try to save money. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, anywhere we can anything where we, they can find you Instagram maybe your handle. Yes, uh, you can find me on Instagram at F Manila and also on uh, Facebook Franz Manila. Um, and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that ball culture episode with my homeboy friends. It's awesome collection. Getting to know him and getting to know how he got into the jersey and merchandising collection. And that's all we have for Pinoy Bounce. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Any last word you want to say to our audience? Ingrid, maybe you want to start? Uh, shout out to um, Gerald DeFranco, Bon R7, and um, Nico for sending in your questions for Pinoy Bounce. And shout out to Shondell. Want to greet you a happy birthday. We'll see you, my guy. <laughs> awesome. James, any last words you want to throw out there? Uh, just pr check out PinoyCrossover.ca. Check out new articles and contents. Awesome. Jerome, final um, words? Thank you guys um, for having me. Um, it's been a blast meeting all you guys. It's been fun. I hope to see you guys again soon. Peace. I don't know that, guys. Stay balling. All right.